EA Sports. It's in the game. Representing that team, EA Sports. If you don't got no game, don't get in the game because it's in the game, baby. NCAA Football 2005. other in this gridiron bowl matchup it's a mild clear day so the weather won't be a factor in this battle between the florida state seminoles and the texas longhorns and here come the longhorns hi to all of you college football fans and happy new year I'm Brad Nessler, along with Kirk Herbstreet and the coach, Lee Corso. And we're looking forward to bringing you all the action of today's game. Neither team seems to have an advantage in this game. Kirk, how about your prediction? Well, this one's going to come down to whoever can make the big play. Florida State is going to be tested here defensively by this quarterback. Lee, I think they'll lose a close game because of their inability to match up in the secondary and the lack of pressure they'll put on the quarterback. I can tell you one thing I know about this game. Florida State has a good defense, but I think as good as their defense is, they will have a hard time defending this kind of running attack. I think they'll play well, but not well enough, sweetheart, to win this ball game. Florida State is ready to open this one up as they line up for the opening kick. And they'll be returning this one. Number three. Fields it at the three. It's first and ten. Ball on their own 24. At the 24-yard line. First and ten. He drops back. Here they come. Throws it to the outside. Big opening. At the 40. At the 30. To the 20. To the 10. Touchdown, Texas. The wideout made a great catch for the score. Actually, I'm even more impressed with the throw. He hung in there and delivered a beautiful ball. PAT. With under five minutes remaining in the first quarter of play, the score, Texas, seven, Florida State, nothing. Texas is ready to kick it away. Number three, back to the top. We should have a return on this one. Number three, has it at the five. Spinning. <laughs> They'll set up shot at the 22-yard line. The Longhorn 
Line up in a nickel back. On the ground with a tailback. A yard, maybe two on the carry. It's second down and eight. Ball on the 24-yard line. The Knolls come out showing three wide. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. And that was a good stop by the defense. They got him in the backfield. That's a great example of quickness by the defensive line. It allows you to break away from those blockers before they have a chance of moving you away from the play. Now it's third and nine coming up. Ball in the 23. Florida State sets up with four receivers. Throws it to the outside. Number five with the interception. Not a good decision there. Why do you even throw that pass? Well, this is a good job by the corner of sitting back and reading the quarterback's eyes. Good job of disguising coverage as well. This quarterback is a gamer. He comes to play every game. They're on the right side of the 50 as they start this drive. Number 10 lines up in the shotgun. They'll throw on first down. Looks. He's under some heat. Over the middle. And it's caught about five yards that time on the throw. It's second down and five to go. Ball on the 42. Number 10 is back in the gun. Gets the ball. No, they faked it. Got his man. And he's tackled. First down. What a pass. Boy, that was a big time throw by the quarterback. He did a good job of taking what the defense gives him. First and 10. Ball on the 30 yard line. Number 10 comes to the line with three wide. Laterals back. And down he goes. And they pick up nine there. Second and one coming up here. Ball on the 21. The Seminole bring in the nickel package. Back to pass. Got some open field. And now he's going to improvise. They'll bring him down. Well, he made him pay with that run. Yeah, the quarterback is so dangerous because he can beat you throwing or running. See how this defense responds when they're backed up into the red zone. The halfback just plowed his way into the end zone. Yeah, but it wasn't all him. The offensive lineman just pancaked the defense on that one. Tech's on the extra point. Over two minutes remaining in the first quarter. The score is Texas 14, Florida State nothing. Texas to kick this one off. Decent kick, looks to be returnable. Number three, takes it from the six. Spin move. I'm sure the coach has talked to his team about not turning the ball over again in this possession. 
They'll take over at the 23-yard line. The Knolls line up with two tight ends. Inside handoff. And he's tackled. A one-yard gain by the halfback. It's second down and nine to go. Ball on the 24-yard line. Texas puts six DBs on the field to counter this five-receiver look. Drops back to pass. He's looking down the middle. And that one's fallen incomplete. He just let his wide out a little too much that time. Now it's third and nine coming up. Ball on the 24. Florida State lines up with three receivers. He's looking. Throw short. Complete. He spins around. Tackle. Well, they get all those yards, but come up just shy of the first. Good play call. Almost perfect execution, except for the fact that they're not going to get the first down. Fourth and one. Ball on the 32-yard line. So they're set to punt this one away. He punts it. Shifty move there. Number three fields at the 31. The offense ready for the first play of this drive. They move the ball extremely well on their last possession on their way to the end zone. First and 10. Ball on their own 34. Number 32 lines up in a deep back. Eye formation. They'll throw on first down. Throws it to the outside. Someone got a hand on it. Nice timing by the safety to get in there and knock it away. That's what his job is, and he did it perfectly on that play. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 34. They come out with three wide receivers. They keep it on the ground with the tailback. The defense comes up with a good play to pull him down for a loss. A nice call by the defensive coordinator. It's like he's in their huddle sometimes. Texas lines up in a shotgun set. He drops back. Deep pass down the left side. And it falls incomplete. A little too much juice on that one. This quarterback sometimes gets a little bit too excited back there and tries to put too much on it. Relax and just make a good throw. No surprise here as they prepare to punt it away. He gets it off. Number three takes it to 25, spins upfield. And now a slight break in the action as the offense comes out onto the field for their next possession. They'll go to work at the 30-yard line. They come out with three wide receivers. And he's going to lose yards on this one. And they snuffed out the quarterback draw there. And there was absolutely no place for that quarterback to run on that play. Good job by this defense. Second down and 12. Ball on their own 28. Florida State comes out in the shotgun. Looking with the throw. And it's caught. A pickup of four on the play. A long ways yet to go, but at the end of one, our score, Texas 14, Florida State nothing. Third it's third down and eight to go. Ball on the 32-yard line. Texas comes out defensively with six defensive backs. Looks, he's under pressure. He lets it go deep down the middle, and he dropped it. Now it's going to be fourth down. Nice defense. That was picture perfect three and out. Good series for these guys. It's fourth down now, and we'll see the punt team. Number 48 gets it off. Number three takes it to 36. He tries to spin. 
So before the offense hits the field, let's take the time to let you know that our game is brought to you by EA Sports. They'll get the ball here at the 44. Number 10 lines up in the shotgun. They'll throw on first down. He's looking. Rolls right. He's in trouble. And they bring him down for a sack on the play. A fourth-year man at defensive end brings down the quarterback for the sack. That's exactly what you'd expect out of a senior. Big plays to fire this defense up. Second and long coming up here. Ball on the 37. Number 32 is the deep back as they line up in the eye. He steps up, throws it to the outside. Incomplete. And the tight end couldn't manage to stay in bounds that time. Yep, the tight end caught the ball, but not before he stepped out of bounds. Good call there by the refs. Passing situation here on third and long. Ball on their own 37. The Knolls line up in a nickel back. Back to pass. He can scoop. No one open, so he's going to run. They'll bring him down. team will come out it's fourth down number 97 boots it way up there number three calls for the fair catch he hauls it in at the 19 time once again for this offense to come back out and start another drive they'll start this drive at the 19 yard line going with the shotgun here they'll throw on first down the ball is tipped and they do a good job at swatting that one away. You're right, Brad. Excellent awareness by the defender to know where the football is and his get his hand on it. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 19-yard line. Two tight ends here. A little handoff. He spins. And down he goes. And he reeled off a big one there. This offensive line is built to allow this tailback to make plays, as you just saw. He's able to get into the open and create some excitement right there. It's first and 10. Ball on the 31. Number three, the lone back. They'll throw on first down. It's tipped. Batted away. A big play by the D-line. Yeah, anytime you put a quarterback on the ground, or in this case, bat a ball down at the line of scrimmage, you're letting your presence be felt. Believe me, that quarterback is aware of the play of the defensive front. Second and 10, ball on their own 31. Number 19 is back in the gun, drops back to pass, across the middle. And he can't hang on to it. So he's still looking to complete his first pass this drive. Well, that one wasn't his fault. He put the ball right where he's supposed to put it. He just can't do it all out there. It's third down and 10. Ball on the 31-yard line. Texas brings in the nickel here. Down the middle. Into traffic, and it's picked off. That last INT gives this defense two on the day. Not a good throw there, and the quarterback needs to make better decisions. And they'll look to capitalize on the good field position here. Texas goes with the ace set here. Up the middle. Tackle. Back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. Second and ten. Ball on the 35. Texas sets up in the eye. They'll keep it on the ground again. He's hit and got away. And they make the stop. About eight yards there.
Third and two coming up here. Ball on the 27. They line up in the jumbo set. And he's tackled. And it looks like he got past the first down marker. Just a misdirection, really. The defense was fooled enough, and the result was a first down for the tailback. It's first and 10, ball on the 24. Number 10, lines up in the shotgun. Here's an option, right side. Pitches back, and the big fellow with some room. And down he goes. The offense calls a timeout, and they'll have two remaining. Second and one coming up here, and this is the fifth play of the current drive. So their last red zone visit resulted in a touchdown. Let's see if the defense can hold them this time. Looking, throw short, it's dropped. This incompletion is credited to the wideout. Absolutely. Quarterback executed his end of the deal. The defense will try to stop this third down as they were unsuccessful the first time on this drive. Third and short, and they hand it off. They'll bring him down. Texas calls a timeout. It's first and 10. They're inside the 20. Florida State lines up in a dime defense here. And that was a good defensive play. Yeah, guys, this is because he's in great position to make the play. Second and 10. And this is the eighth play of the drive. The Longhorns go with the I formation. They go with the option. And they make the stop. So they pick up three on the option keeper. The Knowles bring in the nickel package. He drops back. Here's an opening. Touchdown, Texas. And that was a most impressive display of athleticism by any quarterback you'll ever see. Well, Brad, you're exactly right. He's been throwing the football. He also has demonstrated the ability to run the ball. Plain and simple, you guys. This kid makes plays, big plays, just like you did, Mr. Hermstein, with the Buckeyes. Here's the drive summary brought to you by Pontiac. Texas lines up for the kickoff. Number 13 and number three back deep to return. He kicks it. Number three fields it at the three. We'll have to see now how the offense responds this time after throwing a pick on their last drive. They'll set up shot at the 19 yard line. The Seminole line up with three wide. Bad snap from center. Wants to throw outside. It's deflected. Nice defensive play. The thing I like here is watch the awareness by the defender. Look how he reads this play, focuses on the ball once it's thrown, and then breaks on the ball to deflect it away. That's tremendous effort. So it's second and 10. Ball on their own 19. The Knowles line up in an I formation. 
go with a pitch to the right. He's going to try to throw. Batted ball. You got to be careful when you're calling a trick play like this because it's usually a huge gain or a turnover. They were lucky it was only incomplete. Third and 10, ball on the 19. Florida State will line up in a jumbo set here. And off to the fullback. And he's tackled. Texas takes a timeout. They send out the punting unit. Number 48 gets it off. Number three takes it to the 49. The offense ready for the first play of this drive. They move the ball extremely well on their last possession on their way to the end zone. They'll go to work at the 50. On the 50 yard line. The Knowles line up in a nickel back. Back to pass. He keeps it. He has some room. Spinning. And he's taken down. And a big gain on the quarterback scramble. Easy play there. The receivers run the defenders off. And all the quarterback has to do was run to the vacant spot on the field. And don't forget about the awareness of the quarterback recognizing the coverage and having the courage to tote it downfield. Great range as he's able to break up the pass. I know that the safety makes a good play here, but as a receiver, you got to get in there and play some defense. He's lucky that one wasn't intercepted. So it's second and 10. Ball on the 30. Drops back to pass. Steps up in the pocket. He's going left. He just let his wide out a little too much that time. It's third down and 10. Ball on the 30-yard line. They'll bring in their dime package. He drops back. Wants to throw outside. Incomplete pass. He needed a little more touch on his throw. He's got to take a deep breath, relax, and just play a little pitch and catch out there. Don't be anxious, kid. It looks like they're going to try for the long field goal. It's up. First and ten. Ball on the 30. Florida State comes out in the shotgun, looks under heavy pressure. He's going left. He got it. And they make the stop. Florida State calls a timeout. It's first and 10, ball on the 41 yard line. They'll work from the shotgun. Back to pass. Steps up. He's looking. Under pressure. Rifles this one out to the left. The ball is tipped. Oh, he had the pick and he dropped it. What a huge drop that was. That's an interception you've got to make, young man. No excuses. So it's second and 10. Ball on the 41. Florida State lines up with three receivers. Drops back to pass. Throws this one out to the left. He catches another one. Florida State takes a timeout. First and ten. They're in the red zone. Let's see if their play calling changes now that they're in the red zone for the first time. Finds his receiver. How about that pass, Kirk? You know, guys, one of the things often overlooked in college football is the relationship between a quarterback and his receiver. Here, you can see that these two are definitely on the same page. On the 12, and they can smell the goal line. They're going to go for the easy three here. The kick is up, and it's good. 
Time to take a look at the drive summary. It's brought to you by Pontiac. Fuel for the soul. Number 47 looks ready to kick this one off. Kicks it off. Number five takes it from the six. Some second half adjustments definitely needed in this one. Our score, Texas 21, Florida State three. And the teams are lined up to start the second half. Kicks it off. Number 13 fields it at the nine. Time once again for this offense to come back out and start another drive. They'll take over at the 25-yard line. They line up in the shotgun. He drops back. Once and all, going deep. It's dropped. This incompletion is credited to the wideout. Absolutely. The quarterback executed his end of the deal. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 25. Number 19, back in the gun. Nice play fake. Throws this one out of the left. And he dropped it. That looked like a pretty good pass. Yeah, it was, and it was a catchable ball. Thrown right at him. He just didn't catch it. Third and ten. Ball on their own 25. The Knoll line up with three wide. Looking. Wants to throw outside. Got it. Tackle. What an amazing catch, first down. Boy, Brad, you said it. That is a big time play there. Spectacular catch and great body control there on the long pass reception. First it's first and 10. Ball on the 47. 47 yard line. Three wideouts to the right side. Over the middle. He just let his wide out a little too much that time. So it's second and ten. This is the fifth play of this drive. Florida State comes out of the shotgun. And he's tackled. The quarterback draw goes nowhere. The defense will try to stop this third down as they were unsuccessful the first time on this drive. The defense lines up with six DBs. Back to pass. Throws a lot pass out to the right. And they got him for a loss. Two-yard loss. Looks like they're going to punt it away here. Plenty of hang time on this one. Number seven signals for a fair catch, and they make the fair catch at the 21-yard line. And now we'll see the offense come out onto the field for their next possession. 
They'll get the ball here at the 21. Texas lines up in a shotgun set. They'll throw on first down. And they hit him in the backfield. This one might be coming back, folks. Let's check out the penalty. Got a little bit of face mask on the defense. And the defense gives up some free yards to the offense. Uh, you know, penalties can ruin a team's chances to win if they commit too many. Second and five coming up here. All on their own 26. They line up in the shotgun. Drops back to pass. There he goes! Looks like he's going to run. Brought down. And that was a nice pickup by the quarterback. Brad, I think this guy's amazing. He has an uncanny ability to scramble, and it showed right there on that play. First and ten. Ball on the 39-yard line. The Longhorns line up in an I formation. Inside handoff. And they make the stop. Four yards gained. It's second down and six to go. Ball on the 43. Number 10 has four receivers lined up here. Throws it out to the right. Almost intercepted. Heads up play to bat it down. Yeah, and if you can't get to the quarterback or intercept the pass, the next best thing is to get a hand up. Third and six. And this is the fifth play of the current drive. Florida State comes out defensively with six defensive backs. He drops back. Wants to throw outside. Complete. What a catch. Wow. How about that third down conversion? Boy, what a play here, guys. I'm really impressed with the poise of this young quarterback. He was very cool and collected out there on that third and long play. It's first and ten. Ball on the 39. Number 32 lines up in a deep back. I formation. They go with the option. He laterals the ball. Big opening. Big move. And he's tackled. Picked up big yards there, and he's going to have a first down. Yeah, nice job there. This guy does a good job of reading his blocks and accelerating through the holes. First and ten. And this is the seventh play of the current drive. Number 32 is the single setback. They'll run the option. Got some open field. And he's taken down. This one might be coming back, folks. Let's check out the penalty. Flipping on the offense. 15 yard penalty. So instead of moving forward, they'll move a few yards back. Boy, I hate to see guys making dumb penalties like that. It's first and a mile. Ball on the 42-yard line. Texas comes to the line with three wide. Back to pass. He has some room. He decides to run with it. Second and 13 coming up here. Ball on the 31-yard line. Florida State lines up in a dime defense here. Drops back to pass. He's got to throw it in a hurry. Complete. He's knocked out of bounds. That screen pass nets maybe five yards. So another third down upcoming for the offense. Florida State brings in their nickel package. And now he pitches it. Ball is loose. Fumble. They get lucky and recover the loose ball. Running the option gets a little bit tricky sometimes. It's not as easy as it looks. 
fourth and 11. Ball on the 29 yard line. It looks like they're going to try for the long field goal. He gets it up. And it sails through the upright. This drive summary is brought to you from our good friends at Pontiac. Number 35 looks ready to kick this one off. Number three, back deep to return. Kicks it off. Number 13 fields it at the seven. The offense comes back on the field, hoping to build off their last drive. It's all about execution, my friends. We saw them move the football, but they were unable to move it when it mattered most. And Lee, I think you have to give credit to this defense. They tightened up when they had to, and they're gonna look to do the same here. They'll start this drive at the 25. Florida State comes out with two tight ends. On the ground with the tailback. Lays a lumber to it. One, two, three. Kirk, he might be out for the count. Oh, what a hit. You know, at the end of the year, you're going to look back at this and remember this is one of the hits of the year. That guy can really bring it. It's second down now, 14 to go. Ball on their own 21. The Longhorns bring in their dive package. And he's tackled. First, First and ten. ten. Ball on their own 38. And that'll bring this quarter to an end. Folks, we've played three, and our score is Texas 24, Florida State 3. It's first and 10, ball on the 38-yard line. Florida State comes out in the shotgun. They'll bring him down, so the quarterback keeper gets maybe a yard. Second and nine coming up here. Ball on their own 39. The Knolls line up with four wideouts. He drops back. He steps up, looks, throws this one out to the right. And they push him out. And they get the first down on that completion, Coach. That was a very nice first down conversion. The key to that play was the fact that the quarterback had plenty of time to look downfield. Number 19 is back in the gun. Back to pass. Steps up in the pocket. He's looking. He's rolling right. Plenty of time in the pocket. And they got it. There was just not enough people to block. And when there ain't enough, you're going to get nailed. Second and long. This is the sixth play of this drive. Texas puts six DBs on the field to counter this five receiver look. Drops back to pass. Steps up. Throws short. Tackle. Well, coach, a short pickup on that pass play. It was, but you know what? As long as they've got those guys getting open underneath, it'll take a lot of pressure off those offensive linemen who are trying to hold their blocks. It's third down and 10, and this is the seventh play in the current drive. Texas comes out defensively with six defensive backs. Wants to throw outside. He's all the way down to the 14. And they convert the third down with a long pass play. You're right, Brad, and that was a long pass play. As a coach, you got to appreciate it when your players come out and perform like these kids are doing right now. That looked like the same play they just called. Yeah, it was. The defense was ready for it this time. Second, 
Second and ten. This is the ninth play of this drive. The Longhorns line up in a nickelback. He drops back. Throws. And it's incomplete. He needed a little more touch on his throw. He's got to take a deep breath, relax, and just play a little pitch and catch out there. Don't be anxious, kid. The offense faces another third down as they line it up. The Longhorn bring in the nickel package. Bad snap. Rolling out to the right side. Down the middle. And he threw the ball into coverage. Man, I tell you, he's lucky that defense didn't come away with that one. Obvious passing situation here. They need this pass. Wants to throw outside. Touchdown, Florida State. Superb catch by the wide receiver for the score. And he hits the PAT. Time to take a look at the Pontiac Drive Summary. And remember, the good folks at Pontiac have been bringing you fuel for the soul since 1926. The onside kick seems to be the only option here. Here it goes. They were really looking to get the ball back. Yeah, but it's not over yet. They can still get a three and out or come up with a turnover. They're on the right side of the 50 as they start this drive. First and 10. Here's the game. Brought down. And they're going to play keep away and work this clock. Second, Second and eight coming up here. Ball, ball on the 40. the ground up the middle and they make the stop an eight yard gain third down and short ball on the 32 on the 32 yard line number 32 the lone back Play. Here he goes, and down he goes. Whew. That time the offensive line came off the ball and kept their feet moving. Good blocks and good running by the ball carrier also. Florida State calls a timeout. First and ten, ball on the 25. The Knowles line up in a nickel back. Little shake and bake move. And he's taken down. Florida State takes a timeout. It's second down and one to go. This is the fifth play of this drive. The kicker got them points on their last red zone visit. Let's see if the offense can get points this time. They'll keep it on the ground again. Makes a move. 
And he's tackled. And that's a first down. First down, and now they have an opportunity to run some more time off the clock. from the shotgun. Cut. 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 Hand off to the right. Juke move brought down. A five yard pickup by the halfback on the misdirection. Congratulations to our Old Spice players of the game. Old Spice Red Zone when performance matters the most. The Longhorns come to the line with their jumbo package. He gets another carry. Tackle. Florida State calls a timeout. Crowd in the line. They hand it off again. Not much for the runner as he gets back to the line of scrimmage. This isn't much more than an extra point. It's up, and he got it. Time to take a look at the drive summary. It's brought to you by Pontiac, fuel for the soul. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Kicks it off. Number 13, pass it at the five. Let's see if this defense has trouble defending the pass again here. If they do, my friend, look out. They're gonna give up another touchdown in a hurry. They'll go to work at the 22. Number 19 with three wide receivers. They'll throw on first down. Throws this one out to the left. A little too much juice on that one. And this quarterback sometimes gets a little bit too excited back there and tries to put too much on it. He's got to relax and just make a good throw. Second and 10, ball on the 22-yard line. Number three lines up as a single back. Inside handoff. And they make the stop. Three-yard gain by the running back. They like to run this fast-paced kind of offense. Yeah, and sometimes you get the defense to panic and waste the timeout. Florida State lines up in a double tight set. A little juke. They'll bring him down. Maybe if they could have run the ball with a little more success, they'd be winning this game. If you have a one-dimensional offense and that one dimension hasn't gotten you the lead, you probably need to try something new. And this one's all wrapped up. Any final thoughts on this one, Coach? I don't know about you guys, but I was pretty darn impressed with this bunch of kids. Texas faced a pretty good opponent in this one, but they just marched right through them. I'm telling you, these guys are for real. That concludes another game of NCAA Football 2005. Our final score, Texas 27, Florida State 10. Our thanks go out to everyone here at EA Sports. I'm Brad Nessler for Kirk Herbstreit and Lee Corso, signing off. Until next time, so long, everybody.